large elephant bull who has a missing tusk and so he's quite easy to recognize. Um, I'm not sure that I know who he is. I don't think I've seen him before. But there he is. He's now coming out, of course, because he wants to be on TV. It's nice to see. Good morning to you, sir. Did you have a good evening last night, perhaps? No? Well, I hope it wasn't too bad. Right, well, here we are then. He's coming out, so we're going to be a little bit careful of him. He is definitely in must. There is a lot of urine dripping from, well, where urine drips from, of course. And that means he is in must. He's in his very heightened stage or state of testosterone. He looks fairly relaxed and again I'm struck by what I feel is the need by of elephants to have a conversation, especially bulls. I think they get very bored and that's what I think this guy is doing. He's come out, there's no reason necessarily for him to be here other than to be interacting with us on some form of level. I'm not sure what level that is, but that's what I think he's doing. Now, Tracy, you ask a very good question about what you think could have broken his tusk. Tracy, um, I suspect that it was overuse. If you look at that broken tusk, it's much darker than the other tusks. Can you see that? And the darkness of his tusks indicates that that's the tusk that he uses when he is... Sorry, one second. Now, the darkness of his tusks indicates that that is the tusk he uses when he is digging or scraping uh, bark from the top, from trees and that sort of thing. And so I suspect that he broke it through overuse. But I suspect that it was probably weakened, perhaps, by a crack or an, which may in turn have been caused by something like an abscess. I'm not entirely sure, obviously we will never know. It's just difficult to understand why something so very thick and very strong would break in the absence of some sort of fault. Now he's not very far away from us. In fact, he's pretty close. He's probably about, ooh, what do you say, Craig, about eight meters or so. We're just going to check the focus mark. And he's very relaxed at the moment, which is wonderful. Isn't he great? It's so lovely that he's being so confiding with us. And not in the slightest, but people will tell you that a mustable elephant is aggressive. Well, I don't think he's going to be aggressive. I hope he's not. Craigus, if I have to leave suddenly, you will uh, hold on tight, will you? No, he's not being aggressive. He might be a little bit irritated. Oi! He just threw sand on us. Just going to give him a little start the engine, just to sort of make him hopefully back off. Oi! All right, now what we're going to do is just move away, because he's clearly now having an interaction with us that, well, it's not making him uncomfortable, but he's his ire has been raised for some reason so let's just move there and the approach here for me is to stop any initial further interaction 
which we did just by making a sound with the voice there, and then to increase the space. There's somebody driving along this road at about 780 kilometers an hour. I'm just going to have to quickly move off it. Mujakile. Alright, Ntafam. Okay, sorry, we're going to leave right now because there's a leopard just down here in the drainage line. 